Okay, I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to set up, or how I set up, GPS. Most users use the uh, A plus B line method. I don't do that at all. It takes a lot of time and it's kind of fussy. So instead what I do is the A plus heading method, which is really easy. So this tutorial assumes you've already got GPS installed and you know how to turn it on and off and all that stuff. Um, I've got my setup mapped to buttons on a joystick so it's really quick and easy for me. So if you see me flying through menus, then uh, that's why. So I'm going to go ahead and start the tractor. There, hopefully that isn't too loud. Okay, I'm going to turn on GPS. Down in the lower right corner, you'll see the GPS symbols lit up. I'm going to open the menu. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure our lines are visible. Uh, show lines, let's turn those on. And then I'll get out of the menu. Uh, yep, we got a line. Okay, that works. Go back into the menu. And I'm going to do auto width. So this uh, implement, this grain drill I got on here is three meters wide. You'll notice the units are in feet. That's because of the way I have the game set up. I've got my distance in the game settings set up as uh, miles, I think. And when you do that, uh, this shows up as feet rather than meters. I really wish there was a toggle to t somewhere on the menu to turn that on and off. But anyway, it's set up to 9.84 feet. That's about three meters. Now I'm gonna go into the uh, track settings. And now here's our line strategy. I uh, don't ever mess with that. I go to A plus heading, and then I'm gonna do set A, and that's the starting point. And now it's gonna ask for cardinal degrees. Most of the fields in the map run north or south or east or west. That's the way I play. So if I leave it at zero, that means my track will run true north and south. If I set it at 90, it'll run east and west. So let's set it at 90 because I'm pretty sure this field runs east and west. There, now it's set. The next thing I do is I go over here to the track name, and I'm going to name it by the implement width. This one's 3 meters, and I'll do 0, 3 meters, just like that, and I will add it. The reason I use 0, 3 is because as I add tracks, uh, they're listed in numerical order. And if I just put 3 meters, it'll actually end up below other tracks that are wider, like 12 meters, because 12 starts with a 1. That's the 1 is the first digit, so that's how it or organizes it. So for anything under 10 meters, I put a 0 in there. Okay, it should be good to go. Let's check it out. Yep, there's our track, and it's right where we set it. So now I can use this 3 meter track on any field. I can take it over here to this other field and use it. I can take it anywhere else on the map and use it. So you're probably wondering, well, if I got another field that runs north and south, what do I do? I got a quick, easy shortcut for that. Okay, so let's say we got a field that runs north and south. Uh, and we want to move this track. Uh, there is a quick key set up for that, a shortcut, and it is Alt end that's left alt end so push and hold the left alt key and then hit end and it rotates the track 90 degrees so there's no need to make a separate track but you'll also notice gosh you know the track isn't lined up with the edge of the field anymore there's a quick key for that too it is left alt page up and down will shift the track left and right so that's how I do it quick and easy all right, I'm going to show you how to set up another one. Uh, this time we've got a six meter wide implement on our tractor. Go ahead and fire it up. Let's see, we got that GPS on, so I'll go into the menu. I'll do auto width again. Setup. A plus heading. Set A. Cardinal, I'm going to set that to 90 again. That's 90 degrees. It'll run east and west. Okay, got that. I'm going to just kind of save this 
make a new track. Six meters. Add that. Here it is. Back. And there we go. We got our six meter track. Go ahead and lock on. Drop the implement. Make a pass here. Here's a trick I like to do. Uh, when you've got a small area, you don't want to... You don't have a lot of room to turn around. You can skip rows very easily. The GPS setup. So I'm going to come over here and skip maybe a couple rows. That allows me to make another pass through the field somewhere else. And the thing is, the next passes will perfectly line up with the previous passes. Well, when you got a lot of room to turn around, you can outpace a hired worker very easily. Because you don't spend so much time turning around. Actually, this field will be done in just a few passes. Go over to the next row. I'll have a little bit left over on the edge there, but that's, that's okay. So that's good enough for now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you another tip, another useful feature. When you set your tracks up for implement width, you can carry this over to any machine as well. So I'm going to hop over to the combine. There it is. I've got GPS set up on this combine. Whatever track I save is transferred to any machine as GPS on it. Go ahead and get connected there. Now the nice thing about this is I've got that six meter wide cultivator. The head on this combine is also six meters wide. I can turn this on, go into the menu, pick the six meter track, and there it is. You can hardly see it, but it's there. Try that again. Sometimes you got to toggle back to a different one, then load the one you want. Here it is. So now I can use this six meter track on this combine. Away we go. So, one method I like to do I like to lock the speed, the ground speed on, the cruise control on, then I will turn the full speed down, max speed, and that allows me to turn around real quickly on the ends. Just get to the end. It's the head. Next row I want to lock onto. Lock onto it and drop the head. Just keep right on rolling. Slow your max ground speed down and turn around the end on the ends you don't lose control sometimes if you don't if you don't lower that max speed and try to turn around on the ends the equipment will go too fast and what you'll find is you're overcorrecting it and it ends up taking longer than just slowing down a little bit sometimes you got to slow down to go faster hanging off the edge a little bit. <clears throat> That's okay. So that is pretty much it. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more, let me know. I can try my best to make some more. I had a lot of fun making this tutorial. Thanks for watching.